Hi guys, B Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to install custom AMD drivers for your laptop or PC. In my case, I'm using my all AMD laptop, which has RX 5600M in it. So now I'm on normal driver. As you can see, there is no tuning available. So before we begin, if you guys can subscribe to my channel, I appreciate that a lot. First you need to download the drivers. For that, open your browser and type NIMES drivers. Click on the first link. From here click on View at Source Forge. In this page select the Files section. Now select Releases Polaris, Vega, Navi. From here you need to download the latest available driver version. In my case it's 24.1.1. Now go back to Files section and select Dependences folder. From here select V5.5 and from here you need to download the Radeon software interface. You can download the latest available at the time. In my case version 23.40 the one, but version 23.30 is stable. I recommend to download that. Now go to the downloaded location of the driver and open the setup. Extract the driver installation setup. This will take some time. Now in the extracted setup file location you can begin the installation by setup CLI. But before that you need to uninstall the current installed AMD drivers. For that click on the AMD cleanup utility. This will ask to reboot your PC into safe mode in order to uninstall the drivers. So just press yes to reboot. After the reboot click OK to continue the driver uninstallation process, this will take some time. Now click on Finish and press Yes to reboot the device to exit from safe mode. Now after the reboot, go to the driver extraction location. If you extract it to the default location, follow me. Now open up Setup CLI. Now press M to mute the background song. Now press 1 and hit enter to install the drivers for Windows. From here you can press 1 and hit enter to install the latest custom AMD software for your device. But if you need to unlock your GPU to undervolt or overclock you need to install the latest driver with 23.5.2 kernel. For that press 5 and hit enter. Now select Microsoft as the installation method. Now the driver installation will begin. This will take some time so be patient. Now the base driver is installed successfully. Now you need to customize how you want it. To enable RSR features on your device you need to select MS Multi Adapter as switchable GPU configuration. Now for the GPU power state mode select normal. This will make your laptop's dedicated GPU to behave normally and turn it off when GPU not using and save power. Now for the software branding configuration choose Adrenaline. For UI profile select Advanced and for driver optimization choose AMD driver mode. Now the driver level customization is done. Now press yes to install the AMD software UI interface. To continue, you need to copy the file that we downloaded earlier. I have downloaded both version 23.30 and 23.40. For now, I will use 23.40 UI interface. But 23.30 is more stable for now. Copy it to the AMD ID folder. Now because I'm going to use the 23.40 version, I will press 1 and hit enter. If you're going to use other versions, select accordingly.
Now you have installed the custom AMD drivers successfully, but the tuning section for the all AMD laptop users will still not be available. To fix that, follow me. For the first opening of the driver, don't choose any of these pre-made profiles. Just skip it to avoid crashes. As you can see, there is no tuning available for laptop users. Now to enable it, close the driver menu, open up the GPU-Z application. I will leave the links to download the required softwares for this. First choose the dedicated GPU and click on this arrow to backup GPU BIOS. Backup it to place it you remember. Now open up the More Power tool. First select the dedicated GPU and then press on Load button to load the BIOS file that we backed up earlier. Locate it and load it. Now select these options as I do. Now for next methods you can do on your own, or if you have a RX 5600M laptop you can use my metrics. For others, if you know what are you doing you can change these. These are for the further undervolts and overclocks. After the modifies click on right SPPT to modify the GPU BIOS. Now exit from the application. Now open up the device manager. Expand the display adapters, right-click on your dedicated GPU and disable it. After that, right-click again on it and re-enable it, or alternatively, you can reboot your device. Now open the AMD software. Head on to tuning section. As you can see now the tuning section is available. Now you can undervolt or overclock your device, but overclocking is risky, do at your own risk. But undervolting is safe and you can get lower temps and power usage from undervolting. So that's it for this video. If you guys find this video useful please help me by subscribing. Thank you. Also, if you have same GPU as mine, which is RX 5600M, I will leave my custom profiles for this GPU.